Greetings, YouTube world. It is I, the Alienator Mars, everybody's favorite screwball, and I'm back for another episode of The Alien Slayer. This is really kind of weird because I'm actually doing two videos in less than a day. I just, whatever. Anyways, today we're going to be reacting to a beer called Cronenberg Blanc. Uh, don't know much about it, truth be told, but my buddy Ricardo, uh, was he swears by it. That's kind of his favorite. So I happened to grab a couple of cans not long ago when I was at the beer store. So I thought, all right, might as well do a video on it. Also today, it took almost six months to do this, but I got my guest today with me. It's my buddy, Hotel Guy. Yes, his name was Hotel Guy. I'm using my alter ego name. So he thought, what the hell? He's doing his alter ego name. We were neighbors for many years, and then we actually were in high school together for two or three years, and then he went off and did his thing, which is fine. So we're back. We're doing this reaction. So let me introduce you to my buddy, Hotel Guy. So how you doing, Hotel Guy? Good, good, good. Sad YouTube? Or YouTube. Anybody want to say hi to or give a shout out to or anything? Yeah, everyone. Say hi to everyone. All right, everyone. <laughs> everyone sends their greetings back. All right, simultaneously. Wonderful. No, have you had Cronenberg Blanc before? Not the Blanc. I've had the, the regular, the original Cronenberg. Yeah, I I don't think I've had that one either, but this was just the first one I kind of stumbled upon at the beer store, so I... Um, now, did you like the original Cronenberg? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Not yeah. something I would run to, but... <clears throat> yeah, well, that was kind of like with me with Barking Squirrel. If you haven't seen my video on that, go check it out. You know, if it, I'll have one or two, and then say, okay, give me a, give me something else now. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's like kind of almost, switch it up. Yeah, change it up. Yeah, or but like Apple, which I really like. Which you know, that's another video I did. Go check that one out too if you haven't seen it already. I like my beer flavored beer. <laughs> oh, Mister Light Port, honey, what are you talking about? All right, so you ready to get into this? Let's give it a shot. All right, so. Pop this up in here. Got a pint glass here. So let's see here. You take the glass. I'm not that classy. Uh, okay, that's, also, <laughs> that's fair enough. All right. So, all right. So, huh. it's almost pretty light. Yeah, it was almost like a foggy tint to it or something like that. Let's see. I'm going to put my eyes on here. Well, it's good to use your eyes from time to time. Not saying it's, that's a bad thing, but it's, I'm, not, I'm not super familiar with this beer at all. What you checking out? Further wheat beer with a hint of citrus. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. All right. So cheers. Cheers, buddy. All right. Let's see what we think here. Oh, yeah. I definitely taste a citrus, like an orangey. Or yeah. Something. Orangey, lemony kind of. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I was just trying to think the same thing when you were saying that, yeah. It's not bad, though. Yeah, it's good. And I don't know if I'll drink it with any kind of regularity. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, you know, I'll have probably, you know, this and maybe one more, and then it might be another month before I have another one, but... Yeah, it's not bad, though. <clears throat> I've had worse. Oh, yeah, we've all had, <laughs> we've all had worse bad beers, I'm sure, but uh, yeah. yeah. Now, would you get it again? Um, again, like you said, to switch it up, maybe, yeah, but, but not as a regular thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, plus I'm sure this is probably cost you, like, it's probably going to be more than a Budweiser or a Coors Light or a Canadian or something. I'm sure. At, at any bar. I'm sure. Um, actually, I think I grabbed a six pack, come to think of it. And yeah, that was probably $2 more than a six pack of Canadian or a Budweiser or something like that. Um, yeah, but it's, it's decent though. It's decent. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not a bad beer. I'm not saying that at all. Um, I think I've only ever seen this on tap. Actually, no, I take it back. I usually see it on tap at bars. Yeah. Um, like there's a bar downtown, a British bar downtown that that was actually a pretty big seller of theirs. Um, I think it replaced Foster's when they uh, with that. Ah, you know, uh, Foster's. Oh, I know. It's a, <laughs> Foster's was a long time favorite of mine. Foster's was a good beer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, uh, <coughs> yet again, Foster's was a big seller at this bar, too. And uh, once the bar stopped selling Foster's, I think Cronenberg Blanc replaced it. Okay. At least at this place downtown anyway. So, anyways, thumbs up to Cronenberg. I'm mean, quite, quite digging Good job, Cronenberg. 
Well, that was quick. It foamed up a little bit more, but maybe just because I was putting into a class. I don't know. So, I know. Anything else, or you think we're okay? I think we covered it. Yeah, all right. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be greatly appreciated once they find the camera to point at. So, peace out for now, guys. Uh, remember, if you get into trouble, don't name it after me.